Hello, my name is Arun and I am the clinical director at Andas. Andas is the countywide specialist addictions treatment provider for Northamptonshire and we are part of the Northamptonshire Healthcare Trust. We work quite closely with other agencies in the county like CAN, Off the Hook, Family Support Link and Aquarius. We are a team of doctors, nurses, healthcare assistants, psychologists and social workers and we are based countywide, so we have locations across the whole of Northamptonshire. What we do in terms of treatment is mainly help people who are addicted to either heroin or alcohol. For alcohol, we offer a range of group work. We can also help you get off the alcohol in what's called a detox, either at home or at hospital. If you want to go to residential rehabilitation, we can help you with this as well. The other bits of our service, we also offer provision for people who are addicted to stimulants. And by stimulants, I mean things like speed and amphetamines. And we also offer treatment for people with pain issues and for cannabis addictions. All we want really is to help you lead as happy and as productive a life as possible. We take your confidentiality very seriously. And anything you tell us, will stay between us and you. The only exception to this is if we think there's a danger either to yourself or to other people. Anything that I've talked about today is available in leafleter detail and you can either print them off the website or get them at the service. So what happens when you get referred to us? Most times what happens when, when you get referred to us is you would have already been seen by our partner agency, which is CAN. But when you come to us, we will again do a full assessment. So you will be seen by a doctor and a nurse. And what we will do during this assessment is to again look at your drug and alcohol use. We will look at your past drug and alcohol use. Basically, what we're trying to do is see what's worked for you before and what hasn't. We will also be looking at your physical health, your mental health, and any, really, any other issues that you might have, your housing needs, whether you've got problems in a relationship with your children or with the police. Because we have good links with several other agencies, we can help you in, in several of these areas. Once we've got a clear idea of your needs, what we will do is sit down with you and do what's called a care plan. So we will list your needs and how we will help you achieve these needs. Following the care planning process, we then do what's called a titration. All the titration means is that we adjust the dose of medications we give you to a level where you're not withdrawing from the heroin use anymore. It is a slow process, so please be patient. Please don't use any heroin on top of the medications we give you because it can be quite unsafe and it confuses the titration process as well. Throughout the process, what we want to do is work with you as closely as possible to achieve the goals that you have in mind. If your goals are either to get off the medication that we give you at some point, we can help you work towards that. If your goal is just to get off the heroin, we can do that as well. So either way, if you work with us, we will help you achieve what you feel is the best outcome for yourself. In terms of treatment options, we've got mainly two medications. One's methadone and one, the other one is Subutex. They both will stop the withdrawal symptoms that you might have when you stop the heroin. And they also help you stop craving for any more heroin. Like all other medications, they have got side effects and they can be potentially quite dangerous if you either use too much of it or if you use it the wrong way. If an option in treatment that we offer further on once you're off the medication is another drug called naltrexone. What naltrexone does is it is an opiate blocker. So it will prevent the effects of heroin, even if you use the heroin on top of this medication that we're giving you. It will also prevent the effects of methadone and of subutex. And it will help you achieve abstinence if that's what you want. There are some other areas that need to carry special warnings. And the first additional bit of service that we offer is in the area of bloodborne viruses. We do offer a testing and treatment services for hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. And if you, are, if you do have any of these illnesses, 
what we can help you with is treatment. We can help you access treatment and stay in treatment and support you during the process of treatment. We also have what's called a needle exchange service and we will provide you with clean needles, water and citric acid. Please don't inject. If you do inject, please limit the injecting as much as you can and never inject into your groin or your neck. If you do inject into your groin, you could lose your leg. And if you do inject into your neck, you could have a stroke. The final word is please return the needles after, please return any used needles. As far as driving is concerned, we will never inform the DVLA unless we are seriously concerned either for, your, for you, for your safety or for somebody else's safety. There are, however, serious consequences if you don't inform the DVLA and then later have an accident. Another very important issue is the safe storage of your medication. When you start your treatment with us, what will happen is you will be picking your medications up from the pharmacy daily. But as time progresses, you will be taking increasing amounts home. Please don't forget that these are very, very strong medicines which can be quite dangerous. So if you're storing it at home, make sure that you store it in a locked container and somewhere where children can't get to them. If you do get pregnant at any point during the treatment program, please let us know because we can look at other options. There are risks associated with using either heroin, methadone or Subutex. And one of the biggest risks is actually having what's called an overdose. By an overdose, what I mean is the slowing down of your breathing to a level where it actually stops. This usually only happens if you're using more medication than we're prescribing for you, or if you're using heroin on top, or if you mix the medication we give you with a lot of alcohol or benzodiazepines. If you're ever in a position where somebody else is overdosed, please put them in what's called a recovery position on their side. There are several leaflets and posters in NDAS to show you what the recovery position is, and then call an ambulance because it's quite urgent that these people be treated as soon as possible. Finally, if you're unhappy with the service, please let your key worker know. We take your treatment needs very seriously. And if you're not happy with the outcome of your meeting with, the, with your key worker, please ask to see a manager at NDAS. We will do everything we can to resolve.